I hope you're all doing well. So, 2014 is coming to an end, so I thought I would wrap it up nicely with a little video all about my favourite beauty products of the year. So without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into it and go on to my first product. So I thought I would randomly start with perfumes. So my favourite perfume of 2014 has to be Chance on Tondra um, by Chanel. I love Chanel perfumes so much, they're just so beautiful. I have the original Chance. Um, Coco Mademoiselle and I kind of like to collect them on birthdays and Christmases and things um, but Entendre is quite a lot fresher but this one's really pretty it's a sort of pink one um, and I just love it as you can see it's pretty much all gone um, but a more recent favourite because obviously I haven't been using this does anyone else do that they kind of like save the very last bit and then it becomes useless anyway because it kind of smells weird. Um, anyway, a recent favourite perfume of mine is C by Giorgio Armani. Um, this is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. I'm going to spray it now and then I'll start coughing because I always do that. I can't really describe it. I know that's really unhelpful when you're talking about a perfume. It's really sweet and pretty but it's cut quite grown up as well. I really love it and I recently got this so I love these two fragrances so so much. So on to skincare, I've got two products that are my without a doubt holy grail favourites of 2014. So the first one is the Garnier Micellar Water. This looks like I haven't used it but I always have a backup in my bedside cabinet there is a nearly empty one. Um, I literally can't live without this stuff, I probably have used it every single night of 2014 unless I've been really really naughty. Um, this is the micellaire cleansing water and it removes makeup, eye makeup, everything. Just put it onto a cotton pad, remove your makeup, done. Basically you can get quite a lot of different micellaire waters now, they're quite hard to get hold of for quite a long time. Um, but Garnier brought this one out, like now the perfume's getting to me. Oh. Yes, Garnier brought this one out and this is like 4 99 People tell me they can get it like for 2 99 in the savers. I've seen it on sale in Superdrug and Boots. So you can get it really cheap and it's amazing. This is so good. I'm going to stop shaking it now and I need to cough because the perfume has got up my nose. Another product you will have heard me talk about before is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. Now I've used Liz Earl products for years and they're absolutely amazing. Um, most of the years I've used the original cleanse and polish it's in a sort of very pale green mint bottle but this one is a little um, gift set I believe and this is the um, limited edition sweet orange and mint and the bottle is really pretty it looks like this I love the packaging um, and this one is a lot kind of fresher and invigorating um, it's really nice I love the original the original is very kind of naturally herbally fresh scented but this obviously has a more orangey minty scent um i love cleanse and polish you get with it muslin cloths all you do is massage this into wet skin and then you remove it with these this also does remove makeup but i like to use it after i've removed my makeup just so i can really get the full benefit of it and the muslin cloths just leave your skin really kind of um, radiant and glowy and just it sloshes off all the dead skin cells and stuff so I love this one I love both scents equally as much so when this isn't available anymore I will definitely be going back to the original okay on to makeup I have a fair bit of makeup to show you so my foundation has to be Rimmel's wake me up foundation again I go on about this all the time because it's amazing I've tried so many different other brands types, formulations, and I just find them quite cakey and chalky. This is, like, it applies really smoothly, it makes your skin look dewy and glowing. The one thing I would say about this is the shades are quite dark, but when I use fake tan, um, it matches up quite well. I've got the shade 200 Soft Beige, which is probably way too dark for my skin tone, but like I say, when I wear fake tan, it kind of matches. Then, my favourite bronzer of the year, again, this has been a long time favourite for me, but I've definitely used it a lot this year. This is Hoola by Benefit. This is probably like my third or fourth one of these, but this one actually says, I don't know if you can see, it says Kate's Hoola. Um, Benefit sent me this back in the summer, I think, and removed the brush. I don't really use the brushes that much, I just tend to use my makeup brushes, but as you can see, I've used quite a lot of this. I just find it the perfect 
not orangey brown glowing bronzer it, it's matte so it's not shimmery but it still makes you look quite dewy and it's not got any orange tones in it at all so i'll just show you that one more time i really like it really love this one have for a very long time um on to blushes forgot what they were called then um this is quite a recent purchase but i love them so i've always kind of lusted after a big palette from mac of all my favorite blushes but alas i've never got around to purchasing that then i saw this it's a bit dirty sorry this is so pretty um and it kind of reminds you never see palettes like this in the shops um i don't anyway so i saw this and i kind of like honed in on it and grabbed it this is by the brand revolution which correct me if i'm wrong is this the new packaging for MUA because it's in Superdrug and nowhere else. It has very similar packaging. It's all the same sort of price. So I believe, oh, can't, you can't see it. I believe this is MUA, which is Superdrug's really, really cheap makeup brand. These are great. I love these and um, I, I think this was four pounds for the whole palette. Um, and as you can see, you get some sort of matte shades in these dusty, rose colours, get some brighter pinks, a coral, and then these two are quite shimmery. Um, this one's nice as a highlight, I would never use that like as a blusher, and probably not really that one either because it's quite shimmery. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but they're, they're really nice as highlight colours and probably they would work better in the summer. And it's called Sugar and Spice, this palette. Okay, on to eyeshadows. So, this is also quite a recent purchase. After having the Naked palette and the Naked 3 palette, um, I decided to try the Naked 2 palette, and I've decided it's my favourite. It looks like this. Oh, you can see my camera and my lights. Um, how can I show you this without blinding you? Okay, so, it has the best of both worlds, because I think the Naked 3 is um, really kind of pink toned. Um, and I got one for my mum for Christmas, because she loves pink toned like eyeshadows. Very pretty pinks, rose gold, which I love. But I do like to have the more neutral brown shades as well, which this one has. And it doesn't have any blue shades like the Naked palette does, which I never ever wear. So, it has like a black... Um, the dark browns, it has some shimmery ones, it has this matte one which is called Tease and I use this a lot and then it has a gold, it has this amazing rose gold so you still get that shade um, and then some pretty sort of highlighty colours and golden colours um, so Verve is amazing, YDK is amazing, they're just beautiful colours like it's the sort of palette that you open and you're just like wow, I love you, I actually love you so yes, I would definitely have to say that my eyeshadows of choice in 2014 would be Naked palettes, particularly the Naked 2 palette because it has all of my dream eyeshadow shades in it. Okay, last sort of makeup y one, it's not really makeup because it's nail varnish. Um, I decided that I would go for one that I've worn a lot this year and I think it's a really wearable shade throughout the whole year. Um, obviously berry tones and glitters are all the rage at the moment because it's winter. But I love Ballerina by, I'm just going to say Eminem then. Does he make nail varnishes? Ballerina by Barry M. Um, yes, it's just this really pretty pink shade. It's that kind of very wearable, every girl needs this colour in their now polished collection in, in my opinion. Um, I, it's just lovely, it applies in one coat although obviously two it looks better. I wanted to wear it in this video but I always end up rushing around and then I just want to start filming the video and I realise that I'm too impatient to wait for my nails to dry. So I didn't put it on but it's a really gorgeous shade and it's just, it's not too Barbie pink bright in your face, it's kind of a muted very classy colour and I love it. Okay, on to my fake tan of the year. My fake tan of the year is, might be a surprise, number sevens, perfectly bronze, quick dry tinted mousse. I bought this back in the summer to try, because it says new here. Um, this is in the medium dark and it's a wear off one, so it's like a gradual tan. And I love everything about this. Um, 
it goes on really nicely. I've never had it streak, although my, I can get like patchy hands, but that's my fault. Um, it doesn't streak, it applies really nicely. I just kind of apply it with some moisturiser and this, um, but you don't really need to. Then in the morning, it's quite a dark colour. The guide colour is quite dark, but when you go to wash it off, it remains a nice colour, unlike some where once the guide colour washes off, it all washes off and you're pale again. Um, this is really nice. I only ever apply it once instead of how I used to kind of maybe do it three nights in a row or something so I don't know what it's like to build up but as I said it's a medium dark so it's a nice colour um, and it just gives me an, a nice natural colour as opposed to the ghostly white that I am naturally and yes I love this it, it wasn't cheap it wasn't expensive I'll try and link it in the box below for you because I don't remember how much I was on three it's, it's all a mess because it has leaked a little bit, but it's kind of, I'd say there's about that much left. It lasts ages because I only use it once a week. Oh, and that's the other thing about this product. Um, I apply it, say, for example, on a Sunday, and I would say it lasts around to maybe Thursday. It's kind of starting to fade, but it doesn't kind of like cake up on you and go all patchy and horrible and gross. Um, it just kind of starts to fade. And then all I do is when I'm ready to, to do another application on another night, I just scrub my body with like a loofah or, or a scrub or something, and it comes straight off. So I find this to be absolutely amazing and I really recommend you giving it a go. Last, but by no means least, are my hair products of the year. Throughout the year, I kind of neglected my hair. Um, I was pregnant and I just wasn't really that bothered about it, to be honest, and it was very dry and the point I'm trying to make is I didn't really have any Holy Grail hair products throughout most of the year because I wasn't really using that many on my hair. Um, but fairly recently, I got these and these are the TGS Factor. Um, this one's a smoothing lustreiser and this one is a flat iron shine spray heat defender. So I use this one um, when I blow dry my hair, straighten it or curl it. Um, it is for like flat iron but I use this as a heat protect, protect, protection. <laughs> I use this as a heat protection spray. Um, it smells lovely. I can't really place the scent. Um, watermelon -y? I'm not sure. Uh, it's really nice though and this has the same scent and this is a smoothing lustreiser, defrizzer and tamer and I can't say how much this has helped. I just apply maybe 20p size piece and I like rub it together, run it through my hair as you can see it's quite long and it just helps tame my frizzy hair. So I really recommend these two, they've been great for the last few months and again if, you're, if you've got frizzy hair then I would try them out because they are great and they smell really nice too. So that's it for my favourite beauty products of 2014, I really hope you enjoyed it. My next video is going to be my what I got for Christmas video which is my favourite video to film of the year I think. Um, so that will be up within the next couple of days um, and apart from that I will see you in 2015. Thank you everyone for a fantastic year and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye guys!